<sighs> yep. I'm ready to crash too. Let's go. What? No. You're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep. And then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, night. Sweet night. Dreams, See you yeah. in the morning. You didn't have to come with me. You know? I know. Hey. Can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah. It kind of bummed me out when you said that you weren't a kid anymore. I mean, I know you're not, but I'm going to miss it. I can't help it, Sean. Things are so different now. I miss my friends, my room, my play box, everything. It all seems so far away now. I know I'm not always nice with you, but things aren't nice anymore. I know. But don't let this change who you are. I just wish I could have a normal life again and stop being so angry all the time. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it. But, it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah. You're too big for it. I am? But, I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just, don't tell the others. Okay? Promise. All right. Get comfy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends, but the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on, but he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the Wolf Brothers from each other. Ever. Sean, move it, now! What? What? Why?
Okay. This is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You got to treat yourself after all this hard work. Maybe a new toothbrush for me and Daniel. I know you guys dig our morning breath. No. No, we all think it's really hot, actually. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and uh, you. Jake, Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes, and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. I bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. You should be pulling more for your weight. You know what I mean? Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's Bullshit, man! Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Let me 
me go! Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What? The... Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's it. Believe it or not, told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. It's I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here, in case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man, so Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA too. Do you have a superpower? Yeah. Dealing with Daniel. Shut up! You're lucky you're my brother. Do you... have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But... I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn. You're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. You can trust us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. That's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him, too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh. Not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. 
No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Ah, uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Ugh. Getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. <sighs> How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but... What if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. Yeah, maybe. We'll just have to be careful then. <sighs> At least we won't have to worry about any of this once we're in Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So, what are you going to do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm going to do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, <laughs> I had nobody but me. <laughs> <laughs>